In this experiment, we want to see which pads work the most effective from the ground and with a little amount of human pressure. So we're going to use this set of panels as a tester. All covered in bee poo, dust and pollen. And we're going to use a pad per panel. On this job, we'll be using the deep drain rocker, using this fixing collar here, so it's no longer a pivoting brush. The range of heavy duty goosenecks here today. And for this particular job, I think we'll be using this one. Fit the gooseneck into the connector. Fit onto the pole. Fit brush in the gooseneck. Make some minor adjustments. So with the addition of the heavy duty gooseneck, we've got the brush laying flat on the glass. Also with the addition of the gooseneck, it gives us plenty of clearance from not hitting the, uh, the pole on the gutter or the bottom of the solar panels. We'll be running through a flow red, high flow hose into the brush, high flow running through the tube runners. Our first pad is the white scourer. All right, let's get into it. Next pad, the bronze wool. Okay, this panel has the bronze wool. As you can see, it's dirty. Bee poo, pollen. The over the top rinse bar is perfect for this job. The third pad, we're gonna be using the Hulk, the green rubber. Now, as you can see, Pete's not putting a great deal of pressure onto the pad. Basically, we're letting the pads do the work. Next pad, stainless steel wool. As you can see, this pad is aggressive, but not quite aggressive enough to get the bee pollen off with one or two swipes. Next is the blue steel. This blue steel pad is a little bit more aggressive than the stainless steel wool. Gooseneck makes the cleaning of the panel a little bit easier. Our final pad on today's little test is the heavy duty stainless steel. This pad is in fact my favorite pad for solar panels. This one is definitely the best pad for solar panels. It's super aggressive yet non scratch and still Pete is not putting any extra pressure on the pole he's basically letting the pad do all the work so let's have a quick look at what happens here now these are the original panels these have not been cleaned yet start up at the top one where we started with the first pad and it's okay but it's not great move to the second panel again it's okay but not great each of these panels are good but not perfect as we came through with the different level of aggression pads the last pad we used was the stainless steel that we commonly call cheese grater. The cheese grater, in fact, did the best job. So here is the prototype solar brush. If you have a look at the pad, this is called the silicon solar pad it has a rubbery texture 
So on this panel, we're going to give it a run. This pad has to be used wet. Water. Again, no excessive pressure from the operator, letting the pad do the work. It has a distinctive, different sound, this pad. The cleaner the panel gets, the less noise the pad makes. So if you can't see from down there, you can certainly hear when you've got the panel cleaned. The solar brush also has bottom jets and top jets for extra rinsing. As you can see, that silicon pad did a fantastic job. So as you can see, the difference in pads here is, this one here is a cutter. This cuts the pollens and then scrubs them off. This one here is a grabber. This is more of a silicon based pad. This grabs the pollen buds and pulls it. So for you guys that are a little bit of apprehensive about using a cutter, a slicer pad, the puller grabber pad may be the perfect solution for you. All right, folks, well, there's a rundown on different types of pads, solar panels. This is Modman and the Oracle. Give that a go. All right.